How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. I, uh, I had a bit of client work recently where I had to put a load of subtitles on some content that I produced previously in the year and it was subtitles in French, in English, in Japanese, in Hindi um, and in Mandarin and it kind of turned into a pretty big project that had a lot of sequences, it had a lot of different um, languages that I don't even speak that, that I just kind of had to copy paste and figure out, decipher if that was really the pacing, the cadence and all that. And then the font would change, the size of the font would change, the thickness, the italic, all of that stuff as is standard with client work would come later on after you'd actually done all the work and they would say, oh, actually, could you just change that tiny thing? And that tiny thing ends up taking you like half an hour to change. And so it kind of forced me to learn how to use the text tool, the new text tool in the essential graphics panel in uh, Premiere Pro pretty intimately. And so today I want to talk to you about something that absolutely saved my life, which is creating a master text style in Premiere Pro. Let's go. So this is my nice little Iceland reel. So let's say that we wanted to put a big fat title right there. Well, I would just go Command or Control T and that will create a text element. I can double click that and it'll do nothing. That's kind of annoying that you can't double click it and it automatically highlights the text to change. You have to actually click on that, have your text tool selected, come up to the text layer and then you can see when it's red, it means that it's in editing mode. You are able to edit the content of that. So you could control all there or command all and say Iceland. And then you select that, you come up to your essential graphics panel. If you don't see that, come up to window and there it is, essential graphics. And you click on that little Iceland thing there and suddenly all of these options drop down. Okay, well, I don't want the text like that in black because I can't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the font color. I'm gonna go ahead and change the font itself. Let's go for something um, like Sweet Hipster. There we go. Nice and hipstery. Okay, make that nice, big and fat 300 font size. Sounds good. Let's center it and then let's just align it to the center of the screen. There we go, Iceland, lovely. All right, so let's say that now I wanna create a little subtitle underneath that, like a secondary title kind of thing. Well, you know, you could just alt click and drag that thing there and then that one you can go up in the essential panel again and you can come down and change the font to something like, uh, I don't know, let's say Gotham. Gotham is a cool font. Okay, and now let's make that much smaller because we're gonna want that to be a nice subtitle. And then we want it underneath, so we'll just position it down here, like there. And let's just change the actual content of what it says. Iceland, the land of fire and ice, as it is colloquially known. Colloquially? Colloquially. Try and say that one five times fast. Colloquially, coll I can't even say it one time fast. All right, anyway, that, that looks nice, right? But let's say that we want to repeat that later on. Well, you could select those and alt click and drag and then you have that same title and subtitle there. The problem is if you then decide that you hate that hipster title, that you think actually I really don't want that font, let's go for something handwritten like, um, what do I have, hand, uh, that one. God, that's ugly. Okay, let's go for that one. Let's say that you want that font. Well, now you're not gonna go through this one and select that one and change it and all of that. And you're not necessarily gonna wanna have to copy this one over and repeat that whole thing, that whole iteration. So here's what you do. You create a master text style. If you select your Iceland ugly font layer there, and come into your essential graphics and have a look down here where it says master styles. Here it says none, but if you drop that down, you can create a master text style. So let's call this title, okay? Nice and easy. So now if I come along to the second Iceland title that I've got, which is still in the old font, I can come down in the effects panel, essential graphics panel, and there you'll see title. And by selecting that master style, you're actually gonna apply all of those characteristics from that font onto the other font file, even though they're not linked, which is really handy because it means that if you're making multiple titles, you don't always have to be copying and pasting the same thing. You can just create a brand new title. It doesn't have to be the same 
font size, it doesn't have to be the same placement in the screen. It just means that the characteristics of the font will be copied over if you create a new font and you choose that master style to be applied to that font. But here's what's pretty cool about it. The fact that it's a master font means that any changes you make to it, if I choose the first Iceland one again, and I come along and I say, actually, I really hate that font as well. Let's just choose something from here. Silafean. Silafean? Okay, well, Silafean. Now you see it says title modified, and you have these arrows over here sync from master style. So for example, if I screwed that up and I thought, I actually uh, don't really like that change, let's go back to the master that we have saved. Well, I just press that and it goes back. Let me just undo that. Uh, however, if I think, right, well, I really like that change, I wanna apply that to the master style so that it affects every other text file that is using that master style. Well, then I just press the up arrow, which is push to master style. And now if I check the next one, it's also changed. It's also taken on that master style characteristic upgrade. And just as we made a master text style for the title, we can also make one for the subtitle. We can select that first land of fire and ice and say, uh, no, let's create a new master style and call it subtitle. And then this one, you know, maybe we do want it to be handwritten as well. Mia hand, look at that. Lovely, lovely Mia, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Great, and now if we remember to push this to the master style so that it updates that subtitle master style, then what we can do is come along to the second one, choose the master style for subtitle, and there you go. And now any changes you make to that that you push to that master style, so you save to the master style, will be applied in all of the other um, items text items on screen that are using that same master style. But let's just say that you've got 20 of these things. In fact, let's make 20 of them. Okay, maybe not 20, let's make three of them. All right, three titles that appear randomly throughout the video. You don't wanna to have to go through each one, go to essential graphics, drop that down, change the master style. Well, that's what's really cool about these master styles is that actually it creates a master style file in your project folder, which means that you can just select all of your Iceland titles, take that title template file and apply it. And it will apply it to every single bit of text that you have selected that you've dragged it on like a preset. So essentially what that means is that if you are doing subtitle work for someone and they decide that instead of Arial bold, they want Arial narrow bold, you don't have to go through every single subtitle and change the font designation of every single subtitle. You create a master style and then you select all of your subtitle layers and just literally drag and drop that on there and it will change all of them. And that might seem like a really simple, you know, great, that's not that impressive kind of thing, but actually it really is. It'll save you hours if you're doing text work in Premiere Pro. All right, it was short, it was quick, but it's a very important lesson for you to know if you want to do text in Premiere Pro. Hey, it rhymes. Okay, if you appreciated this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. It's tutorials, it's giveaways, and it's gear reviews in my new studio. I'm, I'm ignoring that mess for now. It's, that's tomorrow's mess. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions, any, any requests for other tutorials. Just leave them there and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.